it seems like everyone, and I mean literally everyone, again, I use uBlock and I mostly watch YouTube on my computer, but I've seen so many people, and now I'm resenting her for this because we share a name, Abby Shapiro, Abigail Shapiro, Ben Shapiro's sister, who literally just looks like if Ben transitioned, um, is getting plugged to everyone, classically Abby, and her whole shtick is about being a classical housewife. That's her, that's all her content. I genuinely don't believe anyone's actually watching her. And she's just using Ben Shapiro's fortune to buy as much ad space as possible to try to <laughs> generate an audience. Your feedback is welcome to help shape this feature. Here's our feedback. Know your fucking place, trash. <laughs> I miss Filthy Frank. God, the sanitization of the internet killed Filthy Frank. Oh, shit, dude. I mean, I know he was a technically a problematic creator, but he was just some of the best content. And you know the worst part is I found Filthy Frank at the tail end of his career. Like, I, I discovered Filthy Frank like Christopher Columbus did. Discovered the Americas or whatever the fuck he did. And, I uh, well, at the end of his career is Filthy Frank. Like, Joji's killing it right now. But at the end of, at the end of the Filthy Frank YouTube channel, it was like, I, I started watching like three months before he released his final video. And I think I went through his entire catalog. And it's just like, bruh, dude, I'm, I'm craving more Filthy Frank right now. Because I feel like he could have some incredible takes on the current state of things. I know Filthy Frank was supposed to be everything you're not supposed to be, but amidst all of that, amidst all of his videos, there was some actual, genuinely good takes on things, I think. He like sort of mixed a combination of, here's the character you're not supposed to be, and here's some actual shit that is kinda relatable. <laughs> um, this I sort of know about, like, I'm, I have a very tangential relationship with wrestling. Like, I only know bits and pieces, but I am aware of this thing, where, like, for a while there, they would not run ads until the match was finished. Wish, as viewers, we could vote on ads? That's a good idea. I mean, it had never happened, but it's a good idea. But yeah, like, they, they used to do that with wrestling, is they wouldn't play an ad until the match was over, and then they would run an ad break, and then you would come back, and there'd be another segment. I think what they used to do is they would do a match, and then they would come back and there'd be a promo, and like, you know, a few minutes of promo, then another ad break, and then another match, if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes they would just do promo, then match. But again, I don't really watch wrestling anymore, so I don't really know. I like this setup that I've got. So like, if we're playing a game, we can put it over there, and I could be sitting here and I could just be chatting to you. Commercial you got for KitKat was bad. Oh, don't tell me that. I just bought a KitKat today and I had it. Have I given money to a corporation that does shit ads? Ugh. All ads are shit. That's fuck. Oh, that? The background? I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. I like it though. Gamer Kit Kat. Oh, God. Since we're, sh since we're just trashing Twitch today, let's just... We're on Twitch and we're fucking shredding it to pieces. Let's talk about the fact that for Pride Month, they decided it'd be a clever little joke to say that the G in LGBTQIA plus stands for gamer. I fucking quit. But speaking of Ghost Runner, I do want to play that game. It looks sick. It looks actually fucking sick. This content may not be appropriate for all ages. Is this English? Lockdown lifted. Well done. I want to play what this. What path is that? One it looks like Mirror's Edge, but terror. cyberpunk with a sword. Like, let's fucking go. Oh my god, it has dismemberment. I just came. This is incredible. Ew, it's on the Epic Game Store, which is covered up by my face. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, well, when I can, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, it's 505. We don't like them at the moment because they're a bunch of dickheads. A bunch of dickheads because of what they did with the Control Ultimate Edition shit. Said they couldn't give the Ultimate Edition upgrade to existing owners of the game or something like that. And then they accidentally did. It's the inevitability of the corporate hierarchy. Like, if a company keeps growing and keeps getting bigger and bigger, um, they're eventually going to turn into assholes. And this is what worries me about Mediatonic and Devolver Digital, because they seem to be pretty solid types. But Fall Guys is exploding in popularity. And if it keeps going, I feel like it's going to end up on a downward trend. Things are going to go bad. And Devolver Digital have always seemed really cool. 